looks like it's that time of the month again, and I'm not talking about that time of the month, even though it is that time of the month for me. TMI, probably, I know. Moving on, it is time for my August favorites. <laughs> In the shower, I've been using a new scrub, and this is the Pure Fiji Coconut Sugar Scrub, and this is the Star Fruit Infusion one. And I got this when I was out shopping with Nikki and Rachel, and I think it was Rachel that recommended this. Oh my gosh, this is seriously, like, probably one of the best body scrubs I've ever used. This is actually super abrasive, so if your skin does not like to be exfoliated, then do not use this because you will be like, ah! my skin it just makes your skin feel so soft and smooth because it kind of has like um, moisturizers and like oils in it so after you rinse this off your skin just feels super smooth nugget is actually climbing over onto my little setup here nuggos say hi look there he is you guys haven't seen him for a while have you well, this is Nuggos, my cat. His name is Nugget, but I've been calling him Nuggos for a while. Nugget? People? People Nugget. So I've been loving this body lotion, and this is actually another thing that Rachel recommended to me. This is from Philosophy, and this is the Falling in Love Summer. And she was saying that this scent is supposed to be very appealing to the opposite sex. So, I don't know how true that is, but I have gotten compliments while wearing this um, body lotion, so I don't know. You never know, I guess. This is actually the first lip scrub that I've used that isn't from Lush. So, this is the Fresh Sugar Lip Polish, and I've really been liking this. It's a lot thicker than the ones from Lush, and it's very, very moisturizing. So those are the differences that I noticed. This one isn't as abrasive, so it's a little finer in texture, and it tastes like brown sugar, so can't go wrong with that. And I've just been using it because my lips, for some reason, have just been really flaky. I have no idea why but I've been using this every night and this has helped a lot. Another thing that's been helping with my dry lips is Whipstick from Lush. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I love me some Honey Trap Lip Balm from Lush, but I'm gonna have to say that this is my new favorite one. And this is a chocolate orange flavored lip balm. Like what? This is basically heaven right here. <laughs> I'm sure you guys probably recognize this necklace from past videos because I've worn it quite a bit. This is a necklace from date. <coughs> As I choke, I tried to hold it in, but I just couldn't. Um, this is a necklace that I got from Daily Look, which is one of my favorite places to get jewelry. And this is like a minty green flower necklace, and I just think it looks good with so many things. You can dress it up, dress it down. If I can find a link for it, I will have it down below for you guys. And then another place that I love getting jewelry from, Bobble Bar, and I actually did not get this piece myself. A viewer gave this to me, and I am so in love with it. I just could not believe that she gave me such an amazing gift. It's a little rose gold bow bracelet, and she got it from Bobble Bar, so she like totally knows me. I love rose gold, I love bows, and I love bobble bar. And it was just so sweet of her. So thank you if you're watching because I absolutely love this bracelet. I believe it's still online. I looked like last week to see if it was still there and it is. So I will link that down below if you guys are interested in this. <laughs> I've never used a MAC pigment before. This is my first one, and this is tan, and it is so beautiful. I'm wearing this on my lids today. I just kind of swept it all over my lids, and it's so, so pretty. I would say that this is like the perfect rose gold color. For the crease, I've been using Saddle, and I would not normally gravitate towards this color because it's kind of like this rusty brown color, and it just doesn't look that appealing in the packaging. But when you put this on, I just put a little tiny bit in the crease to define it, and then I blend it out. It is like the most natural looking crease color for my skin, and I love it. I was looking for a new inner corner highlight color because nylon was just getting too shimmery for me, and it was a little bit too cool because I am a little bit more tan now. So I wanted something warmer and more subtle, and rice paper is perfect. I've been using another Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner because now I'm just 
like obsessed with these things. I'm wearing this today. I love it. It's a rich brown color with a little bit of sparkle in it, although it's not super sparkly. Like you really can't tell unless you are like all up in your face. So you're basically the only person that's going to notice the sparkle in it. Tula, which I've used a ton before in the past, and this is kind of like my summer bronzer because Summer is like basically the only time I can wear hula since it is a little bit dark, but since I'm tan right now, I can get away with it. So I've been using hula just in the normal places where I put bronzer. And then this is actually a recommendation from my friend Tati, and I love, love, love this so much. So thank you, Tati. Um, this is from Too Faced, and this is the Sun Bunny Natural Bronzer. So it has like a lighter shade over here and then a darker shade, and this is shimmery. And I normally don't go for shimmery bronzers, but I wanted something that would give me a little bit more of a glow. And when I was with Tati at Fleur's house in England, she was saying that she takes this Sun Bunny bronzer and kind of swirls it together and then just places it on the apples of her cheeks in the summertime to get that nice bronzy summer glow. So I was like, I am so trying this because Tati always looks amazing. And I have seriously been using this every single day that I have been wearing makeup. The last lip product I have here is from Jouer, and this is their Pearl Lip Enhancer in Peach Pearl. So I am a huge fan of the original Lip Enhancer, which is super moisturizing. It makes your lips look fuller, and it just feels really nice on the lips, but it doesn't have any color to it. And they came out with these tinted ones, so this one has a little bit of shimmer and a peachy color to it. I've kind of had a revelation this month in regards to fragrance because I have discovered the magnificent world of perfume oils. Oh, I don't know how I ever lived without perfume oils before. And I have my friend Austin to thank for this because she's the one who told me about the Whole Foods perfume oils. She actually wears the amber one and I was like, oh my gosh, this smells really good. And she was like, yeah, I have been wearing this for years. People always ask me what I wear. It's kind of like my signature scent. It's super cheap and it lasts all day and all you have to do is put on a little bit after you get out of the shower. So after she told me this, I was like, I need to try this out because she smelled amazing. So naturally, I ran to Whole Foods and checked out all of the perfume oils and my favorite was the Auric Blends Hawaiian Fantasy one and this actually comes in a little roller ball so it makes it super easy to apply and this smells so good and a guy actually walked by as I was trying this out and he was like, oh my gosh, what does that smell? It smells so good and I was like, is it this? And then he smelled it and he was like, yup, that smells amazing. So I was like, okay. This seals the deal because I already loved it and having just a complete stranger walk by and smell this and be like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I was like, yeah, sold. I have noticed that the perfume oil lasts way longer than perfume, so I am very, very happy with this. And it only costs $8 at Whole Foods. All you have to do is go to Whole Foods in like the bath and body section where they have the shampoos and stuff, and they have a ton of oils to choose from, and they have different brands, and you can just stand there and sniff a ton for a really long time like I did. <laughs> For nail polish, I've been loving these two together. This one is Samoan Sand from OPI, and this is a really nice nude color. And then Shine of the Times from Essie. And I'm actually wearing this on my nails right now, and I've had this on for like almost a week, and I'm pretty impressed with the wear. There's a little bit of chipping, but nothing too noticeable. <laughs> Guys, I'm kind of obsessed with Orange is the New Black. I have finished that entire series. It is a Netflix original series, and I cannot wait for season two. Like, seriously, please come faster, season two. A quick rundown for you guys. It does have very mature content. The first, like, 10 seconds of the show, you are bombarded with gratuitous boobage, so it is not appropriate for all ages, just putting that warning out there, but the storyline is incredible. I wasn't sure what I was gonna think of it, especially with the initial boob scenes. I was like, whoa, what is this? It's about a woman who gets put into prison for something that she did a decade ago. It just kind of follows her going into the prison and getting used to everything and adjusting and the other inmates that are there and their life together. Things get pretty correct. Hashtag faux reels. 
with a Z. Brownie points if you remember that one. They are actually an entire family, and they are the Sacconi Jolies. Oh my goodness, I have been watching their vlogs every single day, and it has become something that I've looked forward to in my day. I love Anna, she's amazing. I've been watching her videos for a long time now, her beauty videos, and now I'm just like totally wrapped up in her vlogs, like with her little baby Amelia and her husband Jonathan, and I just love watching their vlogs, and I love Anna's beauty videos, so I'm going to link their vlog channel down below and Anna's beauty channel. You guys need to go and subscribe if you're not subscribed already because they are incredible, and Anna and Jonathan are going to be welcoming a new baby. They just announced it, I think, a couple weeks ago, and they went for their first scan, and I haven't watched that vlog yet so I'm very excited I'm gonna be watching it after I film this video their vlogs just make me so happy and Amelia is so adorable like probably the cutest baby that I've ever seen she's just so cute oh my gosh so I'm gonna stop freaking out and fangirling right now but you guys need to go and subscribe because they're awesome so that is it for my favorites today and be sure to check out the newest episode of 17's beauty smarty showdown all-stars edition which is the competition that I'm in with a bunch of other beauty girls and I'm competing for love 146 which is my favorite charity and I'm hoping that we can work together to raise some money for them so I'm gonna link the episode down below for you guys the newest one and if you would like to vote for me and support love 146 I will link the separate video where you can vote for me down below as well and we actually won $300 for them in the first episode so thank you guys so much for voting it really means a lot to me but it means even more to these girls that you guys are helping out so yeah I just wanted to thank you guys for that but well, I think that's it for today. And I hope you guys are having a pretty freaking awesome day. <laughs> I'm so 